the next chapter talks about the concept of value as applies to customer service and and what the book I think probably one of the most important uh, takeaways from this chapter is how it talks about value being a perception um, it's something that's individualized and it's something that is 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 personalized what might be a value to you might not necessarily be a value to a to another customer and that's an important thing to keep in mind of customer service as you as you look at the products that you're offering and the service the way that things are delivered and you bring up the idea of value is that it, and a lot of times it's going to differ from customer A and and customer B um, what you know, look at the different, the book goes into some of the different definitions and ideas of what value is, and it really arises, you know, the true definition, it arises from some sort of trade-off between the, the benefit gained and the cost uh, cost expanded. So how much does it cost a customer to purchase a, a certain product? What type of benefits do they gain from that in the, in the long term? And the book goes into talking about the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic um, which is also known as associated value. Intrinsic, intrinsic value, which is besides being a tongue twister, intrinsic arises from the core product or the service itself. What is the specific product? What is the specific service? How does it stand up over time? Um, you know, this can be a product, you know, like an, uh, like an automobile and you purchase an automobile and how well is that automobile uh, vehicle running, you know, 10 years after you purchased it. That's going to add to what the value is um, is of the product. Um, and it applies also, you know, on, on, on the service end. You know, the book talks about uh, the problems with, with, with airlines, with, you know, delays on, uh, you know, d delays on the runways from, from taking off. It talks about phone service utilities being down for a certain amount of time. How businesses handle that does affect how the customer reveals what the value is of that product or service. So, that, so read carefully through what the definition of, of intrinsic, because I spend a lot of time on there. The associated or extrinsic value, this goes beyond the value of the core product, beyond the product, beyond the service itself. And there it's up to the company to really create that associated value with it that improves um, the and create conditions that improves the uh, the likelihood of, of a customer seeing the associated value favorably. And the book talks about seven uh, seven different uh, concepts that relate to how you can improve what that uh, what that associated value is. So it talks about the, the the packaging, the way that a product is packaged or where it's placed on the store store shelf. Um, spend a lot of time talking about the goodness of the product fit. How specific is that product to the individual itself. So the, the chapter talks about how in this day and age of uh, the idea of customizing products to a specific individual and the way a customer exactly wants it. And you know, boy, has the internet really helped improve that where you can go online to clothing mm -hmm. stores um, and, and other places and you can select a product that is just specific to you. And that's not going to go away. In fact, more and more customers are not going to expect, you know, um, uh, one product fits all. They're going to want you know things that are specific to them, and you know great. You know Amazon has done a great job with this, uh, really catering to individual needs. With the idea, you purchase a book from them, and they'll let you know you know you you might like this book as th this book as well. So individualization is 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 key to this idea of, of associated value. Uh, it talks about memorable experiences you know, that goes beyond you know, the product or service itself. Why do people go to a certain coffee shop? might not necessarily be the coffee or the, the biscotti or the quiche that they offer. They might like the environment itself, the ability to interact with, with others. Uh, uniqueness and, and shared values, which, you know, both how unique is the ex kind of This kind of touched upon the experience, how unique is that experience, but does the business have values that you believe in? You know, some people will buy Ben and Jerry's ice cream, not necessarily because they like Ben and Jerry's better than other ice cream, but they like the, the value of the company itself, the, you know, the liberal philosophy behind, uh, behind what they do. It's why someone might choose to go to a, a local mom and pop store here in, in Fairbanks as opposed to one of the box stores. They might get a better deal on the product at the box store, but they believe in, in buying and shopping locally. That's a value that's important to them. 
Uh, credibility is the sixth one. You know, how credible is the business um, over time? This kind of goes back to some of the things I was talked about with the uh, intrinsic value. Um, do you believe uh, that the company is going to offer you what they're going to say to do? Have they gained your trust? That's what credibility is really all about, is, is trust. And then the final one is add-ons. Um, what are, and, and an add-on, you know, the best kind are those with, um, with a high perceived value from the customer, but a low cost, you know, to the, uh, uh, to the business itself. So you purchase a pair of shoes, you get a shoe horn, you fill up a tank of gas, you get a car wash. Uh, businesses are always looking, you know, now in these days for what are these little add-ons we can offer to help the customer feel like that this product is, is an exceptional, uh, exceptional value. And you have an opportunity to kind of brainstorm um, either the quiz or the final exam, kind of a giveaway here, uh, adding on, deciding what could be some add-ons for some specific products or services. So that closes up the, the chapter of value. The book also talks about the importance of bringing employees into the mix and of making sure that the organization is of value to the people that work for them. But uh, a very important um, uh, chapter, a very important concept, you know, the idea of, of value, especially in, in this day and age with 21st century uh, technology with more options being available to customers for different products and services. Uh, those companies that are going to win in the long run are those that understand the concept of value and uh, make sure that's passed on to their customers. So that closes off this chapter. Uh, good luck with the test.